Hi, I am Isha from Sachiro. I have experience working in industry for several ERP systems. I have experience as a technical consultant with expertise in suite script, advanced PDF templates, customization, and transaction. Suite script. What is suite script? Suite scripts are allows developer and administrator to create flexible business logic and sophisticated business processes for entirely a new application. Types of suite script. Suit script types are organized primarily by where they run, that is on the client side or on the server. They are also organized by the different types of tasks you are trying to complete or the data you want to capture. Use the suit script API to create the following suit script types. Client scripts. Client scripts are executed on the client. These scripts can be attached to and run on the individual forms or they can be deployed globally and executed on entity and transaction record types. Global client scripts enable centralized management of scripts that can be applied to our entire record type. User event script. User event scripts are triggered when user works with the record and data changes in NetSuite as they create, open, update or save record. User event scripts are useful for customizing the workflow and association between user NetSuite entry form. These scripts can also be used for doing additional processing before records are entered or for validating entries based on other data in the system. Suitlets Suitlets enable the creation of dynamic web content. Suitlets can be used to implement custom form and backends. Through this API support for scripting, forms, and lists, these suitlets can also be used to build NetSuite looking pages. NetSuite task links can be created to launch a suitlet. These task links can be used to customize existing forms. Racelets Racelets are server-side scripts that can be used to define custom RESTful integration to NetSuite. Restlets follow the principle of REST architectural style and use HTTP verbs, HTTP headers, HTTP status codes, URLs, and standard data forms. They operate in the request response module and an HTTP request to an system generated URL invokes each restlet. Scheduled scripts Scheduled scripts are executed on demand in real time or via a user configurable schedule. Scheduled scripts are useful for batch processing of records. Portlet scripts Portlet scripts are used to create custom dashboard portlets. For example, you can use suit script to create a portlet that is populated on the fly with company message based on the data within the system. Mass update scripts Mass update scripts allows you programmatically perform custom mass updates to update fields that are not available through general mass updates. You can also use action script to run complex calculation. Workflow action script. Workflow action scripts allows you to create custom actions that are defined on the record in the workflow. Bundle installation script. Bundle installation scripts fire trigger that execute as a part of bundle installation, update or uninstall. Trigger execution can occur either before install, after install, before update, after update. These triggers automatically complete required setup, configuration and data management tasks for the module. Next, suite script execution diagram. The suit script execution diagram is the data are fetched from the NetSuite database and we will and then we will execute the scripts on the base row of the diagram. When you are writing your script, it is important that you understood where the script will run, that is it is on the client side or it is in the server side. And when the scripts will run, that is before data loads into a page loads or after an update is made to the data or after the data has been saved and committed to the data. 
Understanding the basic concept of where and when the scripts will run will help you to understand the source script API. It will also help you when debugging your code should you encounter that problems. Running a script in NetSuite includes the following basic steps. Step 1. Create your script and store your script into the local disk. Step 2. Add script to NetSuite file cabinet. Step 3. Attach script to form. Step 4. Create script record. Step 5. Define script deployment. Client scripts. As its name implies that client scripts run in the browser, that is on the client side. It is the only script type that run on the client side. All other will execute on the server side of NetSuite. The primary use of the client script is for responding the user interactions with record forms within the NetSuite UI. Generally, client scripts are used to validate user-defined data and to auto-populate fields or sublist that various forms event. The navigation for uploading the script is customization, scripting, scripts. This is the deployment. After uploading your script, you should deploy your script onto a particular record. Script execution, client event types. In NetSuite, client script can execute on 10 different client-side events. These client side can occur whenever a user loads a NetSuite form into the browser or when a user selects a field or a field is updated. Field is updated can occur when a user updates a field or when a field is auto-populated through a sourcing relationship with another field. A NetSuite event can also occur when a user clicks the submit or save button on the NetSuite page. These are the 10 client event types, page init, save record, validate field, field validate, post sourcing, line init, validate line, recall, validate insert, validate delete. Page init. This client event occurs when a page completes load or when a form is reset. This function is automatically passed the type argument for the system. This is similar to an onload JavaScript client site event. Save record. This client event occurs when the submit is pressed but prior to the form being submitted. You should always return either true or false from the save record event. Validate field. The validate field event occurs whenever a field is about to be changed by the user or by a client side call. This function is automatically passed up to three arguments by the system that is type, name and line one. Next, field change. The field change client event occurs whenever a field is changed by the user or by a client side call. This function is automatically passed up to three arguments by the system. Post sourcing. The client event occurs, the following field is changed after all the fields that is the child fields values are sourced from the server. Enables field change style functionality to occur all the dependent field values has been set. This function is automatically passed up to two arguments from the system that is type and name. Line init. The line init event occurs when an existing line is selected. It can be through of as the page init function or sublist line items. Validate line. The validate line event occurs when a line being added to a sublist. It can be thought of as the save record equivalent for sublist line items. This function is automatically passed the type argument from the system. Recall. Recall event occurs after sublist is changed, but only if the sublist change causes the total to change. Validate insert. The validate insert event occurs when you insert a line into an edit sublist. Validate delete. The validate delete event occurs when you try to remove an existing line from an edit sublist and it returning block 
and it returning false block the removal this is a navigation for uploading your script that is customization scripting scripts first of all you will know that you were you are created your script and that is stored in your local disk and from here you can upload your script page in it save after saving this record you will create your script record and after that you will get all the types of subscripts that are available into the netsuite and from here we will select only a client script after selecting your client script you must know enter your script type script name raise it with even this is a name that you want to give for your script this is id id is generated automatically by the system you can create your own id for each script this is the description description implies that why you are using this script for this that is the description this is the script for page in it and this is the owner and after that you will show here that are many event types that are available into the client script but we want only the page init function so you put here your page init function name the page init function name is show customer id that i have entered here and after that i save the script after saving the script you want to uh, change your script from here if you want to change your script you can change from here and i will just in brief i will explain you the background logic of the script is the function so called show customer the show customer we will upload this script for the page init function and page init function has a argument for a type and it, the system is automatically pass the type argument for the function if type is equals to equals to view or type is equals to equals to edit then the internal block will be executed and in the internal block i write the code for get the customer id by using nl api get record id and get the record type by using nl api get record type after getting this uh, id and record i will just show alert message on the form that is record id and record type save after saving this record you should deploy your script on to a particular record on to a particular transaction or masters that are available or items you can deploy these scripts in client or in employee or in vendor i upload this script on to the customer and you always you note down that whenever you uploading your script into the account or into the netsuite at that time you should first check your script on executing in debugger and deployment id is same the id is generated by the system itself otherwise you will give your deployment id and always note that the deployment of the script is always in testing not in the release and it is deployed save this deployment script after saving this script you go or you check your script is properly deployed on to the particular record that you want to upload that relationships customer view i upload this script on the type is view or edit here you will get record id is equals to 280 and record type is customer this is all about the page init function this is the execution log of the script that is debug the execution log is get by nl api log execution api record type is this and record id is this and this is a deployment of the script is applies to where you can apply that is applies to and id the deployment id and the deployment id is always start with the custom deploy this is a system notes so thank you